Welcome to the Super Spy Thanks for joining me on this uh, somewhat stormy afternoon. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna trudge along forward because uh, I may run into a little problem here. Uh, not with my sound equipment. Uh, I know it sounds fuzzy, but that's that's just me. Uh, earlier today, I tried administering a Vulcan mind meld on myself, and uh, I just kind of lost a few ideas. So if you've ever experience that you know drop me a comment i'd like to know how you came over it i want to jump right into things uh, because it's been one of those interesting weeks for me uh you know if you look at the news one it's going to depress you no doubt about it but also uh there's a few things going on that uh, well may make you wonder just what is what is this all about? Uh, you have so many things uh, being reported. Now they have this SADS, S-A-D-S, Sudden Adult uh, Death Syndrome. Uh, there's another fancy name for it, but I'm going to stick with what CBS News called it, and that's the Sudden Adult Death uh, Syndrome. Uh, people are just dropping dead. They don't know what from. A lot of people want to blame it on the vaccine, but you know I'm not going to go there. Uh, we also have an uh, interesting thing going on in the cosmos, if you will. Uh, the sun, the part that is facing us, uh, the bright side, uh, it's, uh, there's a sunspot on it, and that sunspot is getting bigger. And clearly, according to the you know uh, communications people and and people that study these things, that could cause us some problems in the next couple days, uh, weeks, and months. And of course, we got the uh, ongoing surprise of our gas supply and, and why it's costing so much. But uh, now we actually have the, uh, the CEOs and the presidents of some of these oil companies coming forward saying it's going to get worse. So buckle in. We're going to we're going to talk about a few things, none of those. <laughs> but I had time to reflect uh this week and uh again, I just had a a, a great time with uh with my therapist who does ensure me that I am not losing my mind. So that's a good thing. Okay, she never said that per se, but the fact that um she didn't hold the clipboard up almost like in a defensive, you know, posture. Made me know that I'm doing okay. But anyway, uh, look, let's get real, guys. Life has a way of punching us. And it just punches us straight in the face while we continue to move forward on this journey that we call life. And for those of us that, that, that believe it's that journey that we take uh, towards eternity. You know, our bodies are incredible. And I want you to take time to really start looking into that. I don't care if you Google WebMD, whatever the hell it is. I want you to look at how incredible our bodies are because we are built to endure most things. But dang, it's so freaking hard. And I'm telling you, it. it there's times in your life when you're going to think, holy smokes, what is going on? And I, I've run into that a few times. And I, I, I would turn around and, and I'd say, why me? You know, why am I have to go and do this? And, and yet I, I received no response. And, and I would turn to friends. I turned to family. And, I, and I'd, I'd tell them and they wouldn't understand. And, and then, then I'd wise up and start to speak, seek some uh, spiritual wisdom. And then I was the one that couldn't comprehend. And then suddenly, suddenly as you're going through all this stuff 
and you're sitting there panicking and you're wondering what is going on, out of the blue, out of nowhere comes peace. And it's a wonderful feeling. The storm, it's over. There's no rhyme or reason, but the turmoil calms. And and it's actually a miracle that our puny mortal minds never understand. We cannot comprehend where this peace comes from. Where does this calm come from? Now, I always ask myself, how is it that God knows when enough is enough? So why why am I laying all this out to you? I'll tell you why. And, and, And I'm trying not to get emotional here. 25 years ago this week, I started the planning phase of my last mission in the human world. It was my last time that I was going to go to the field as a human asset. Now understand, understand this, okay? I did not know it was going to be my last time, okay? And I did not know at the time of the planning just how wrong it was going to go, okay? I did not know the... Uh, boy, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep this, you know, I, I don't like using bad words, okay? But I, I'm just going to have to say it this way. I did not know the crap storm that I was about to enter into. And and at the time, I I just kept planning. I just kept going forward. I just kept getting the briefings I needed to brief, get uh, get before traveling overseas, and I just went about my business looking forward, blindly believing in what was going to lie ahead and believing that this planning was going to be for the best. Because you know what? That's how we handled things. That's how we planned for things. Yeah, we used to go through and say, you know, and play the what ifs. And I used to love that. Well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Woo, let me calm down here, guys. Um, but that that's just the way it is, okay? The call for the uh, final mission came in on a Saturday. Uh, there was a colonel that had called me. Uh, it's a full bird colonel, so don't. Don't think that you know who this was. Uh, His first question was how I was doing. Uh, Because earlier that year, this was, uh, uh, again, 21 years ago. Uh, Earlier that year, I had just gotten over meningitis. I was in the hospital for about a week. uh, Slipped in and out of coma. And uh, he asked if I was ready to go on a mission. And I said, absolutely. Absolutely. where do you want me to go? And he asked me if I wanted to go back, uh, go back to Iraq. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And he goes, okay, super. Uh, meet me Monday morning, and we will go up and let you know what's going on. And so I did. Uh, and there I started. Uh, I started studying. I started looking at everything that I could look at, and I knew what my mission was. I knew where my support was going to come from. Uh, I knew just about everything I wanted to know. And I knew just about everything I was going to know. What I did not know, and this is the hard part, guys, uh, I did not know it was going to fall apart so quickly. I did not know that my um, exit transportation was not going to be there. Uh, I did not know uh, that I would be left standing alone. And it was not because it was intentional. Don't 
don't get me wrong, uh, they weren't trying to get rid of me. Uh, it was a series of unfortunate events. But I made it. Okay, long story short, you know, I made it. Read the book. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, that was 21 years ago. And uh, I'm sorry, 20, holy smokes, 25 years ago uh, this week that I started that, that uh, plan again. And I'm going to tell you guys, it made me think about life. As I hit that anniversary this past week, I started to realize we, we really do not know what tomorrow is going to bring. Um, but can I just challenge you on something? As I take a sip of a sonic drink, <laughs> we can only choose how we are going to face tomorrow. You know, if you want to be miserable and wake up in the morning and say, damn, I hate this life, then do it. You're going to be miserable. You know, and if we're going to, if we're going to wake up in the morning and be absolutely obnoxiously happy, then do it. You're going to be obnoxiously happy. But get up with a positive attitude. I had a positive attitude the entire time that I was making my way home. And, I've, and, and I'm going to tell you, uh, this week has been rough <clears throat> because it has been sprinkled with plenty of flashbacks. And thank God, flashbacks are free. But here's the deal. I know now how that story end, ended. I know now how I rose out of that confusion victorious. I know now how everything went down. But you know what we don't know? We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen on July 4th of this year. We don't know what's going to happen June 10th, 2026. We do not know what goes on tomorrow, but I am here today. And I'm here today because God knew. And I'm going to keep trusting in Him. I'm going to keep trusting in Him because, well, He delivered me back then. I know He's going to deliver me now. Super Spies out. Remember, rock stars, flashbacks are free, but not my books. So go on Amazon or Barnes & Noble and pick up your copy of The Life and Times of Biff Baxter. And while you're at it, get one for your friend, too. <laughs>